Well, good day, tubes. How's she hanging? So um, we're just sitting in the Jeep here. Um, remember the other day we fired it up and let her pretty much crank. Wouldn't start, of course. Crank until uh, it uh, killed the battery. So uh, what I want to do today is I let her kind of go a couple of days with the solar panel charging. And um, we're going to see, not necessarily if it's going to start, which I doubt it will, because it probably needs a sniff of gas in the carburetor. But uh, I just kind of want to see if the uh, solar panels charge the battery kind of back up. So, let's give her a shot. There you go. Alrighty, so it's not showing a tremendous amount on the dewy thing there but uh, hmm. let's just uh, crank her and see if she's got uh, any more juice now Ooh, a little more I don't think it's tremendous but I don't think she's gonna start today at all boys it's almost building three psi on the uh, or whatever psi that is hmm yeah, but it seems to be, uh, you know, cranking again, so that's good. It is doing its job. It's just started to get some good sun right now. The sun's kind of up oh, off the side now, but come a little more in the afternoon, she'll get a bit fuller sun. Yeah, she's, she's not going to start, I can tell. Um, not even giving a snort or a fart or a fluff or nothing. So, but anyways, she needs a little... Carbonation attention, I guess, and uh, probably wouldn't hurt to rebuild it, which I do have a kit for. And the fuel pump would make a huge difference, probably too, for uh, bringing the fuel up, because probably it's maybe it's gotten so weak now it's not even pulling the fuel out of the tank. I don't know. I don't know. Probably, probably not. Probably once it got running, it might go a little better, but as of right now, no, nope, not happening. But um, anyways, um, I'm going to. Uh, Head down to the garage. I think uh, it's a bit too cold today to open the door to hook the bucket on to uh, paint the whole thing. So what I'm probably going to do is just paint sort of what I can. And then uh, uh, Thursday, tomorrow, or Friday, actually, I was supposed to warm up. Today's really, really cold. It's like minus 14 out. So it's like, yeah, <laughs> it was actually probably warmer yesterday. But honestly, I didn't get into too much yesterday. I just kind of took her easy and... The uh, funeral home in town here brought a whole bunch more, um, which I'm call them, people in for storage because it's still winter everywhere. So uh, busy doing that and putting them in storage, and holy crap, there's quite a quite a quite a crowd down there now. Um, but uh, a few of them are for me because you know I sh I shot I had to shut her down here too because this winter was just getting kind of kind of silly. I run out of places to put snow, you know, so. We'll uh, have a few of our own to do, and uh, eventually, whenever we're some spring, spring pops here, holy cow, I don't know, it's taking forever, let me tell you. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, anyways, uh, a couple more things I want to speak on before we start painting. But uh, we'll go down, we'll mix up some paint, get her stirred up, and then uh, we'll start painting. But anyways, let's head her down. So, the other night, uh, I released a... Uh, video there on the multiplayer stuff uh, I really don't know what happened to that that was all in the exact same time that uh, I redid the operating system on my computer and uh, of course you know I never thought anything of it uh, that video having a problem and uh, didn't back that that video up <laughs> and uh, released her the other night after it was all the system was all redone and uh, lo and behold there was some issues and problems with it that I didn't even know about because I could watch it uh, pretty good it was seemed fine to me and uh, I don't know why everybody else was having issues but the only thing I can think of was there was a claim put in on that video that apparently someone owned the music in that video and there's no music in any of those videos so that's just YouTube's stupid thing finding a tractor sound or something that sounds like some kind of someone's music and it flagged it and put a big thing on and I disputed it and stuff and 
I don't know, they must have screwed it up or something because I couldn't even re-download it to re-upload it. So totally screwed either way. So if that video is just gone, see ya. Hey, we'll have to do another one some other time. So that kind of sucks, but it's the way she worked with that one, I guess. So, but uh, basically it was just a video of why I generally don't get on playing with multiplayer with people. Now people I know it might be different, but those were just kind of like a server I joined and it was just people on there kind of just, you know, there was, well, I don't know, 12, 14 people on this. And, uh, oh, it's just a thing of, you know, I acquired a tractor, a planter, and a fertilizer spreader. Hooked the fertilizer spreader to the front of the tractor, the planter on the back, and I was seeding field number three in the Hegensteld map, the original map. And uh, some knob that, you know, you, you press tab and you tab through the different tractors. He tabbed in my tractor, took off with my tractor, left me the, left me the seeder, but took off with my tractor and my, my uh, spreader, my, my fertilizer spreader. I was like, seriously? <laughs> and it, I knew it would happen, so that's why I was recording it, right? And, uh, now the video got screwed up and blah 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 and yeah so but uh, yeah generally I don't play any multiplayer uh, whenever I do farm sim Saturday especially I kind of do it all on my own usually because um, just me and Harold I guess you'd say <laughs> me and Harold go out in the field and and uh, mess about so I mean I've done one before multiplayer and it was okay because it was people I knew and you know there's a lot more respect and stuff but this one I was on it was just like total disrespect so it's like really holy crap so that's generally why I don't play multiplayer anyways uh, yeah so that was uh, kind of a uh, it's not too big of a deal really that it didn't really get released but uh, it was just me playing for like an hour and getting screwed around by these guys kind of thing and now uh, we, we got them back you know uh, the one guy kept asking me uh, if I needed money, if I needed money, if I needed money. I'm like, no, I'm fine, I'm good, I'm fine, whatever. And uh, so eventually they just gave us like 200 billion dollars, everybody. So I'm like, okay. I just went and planned like 300 freaking windmills all over the place. <laughs> oh, and then that caught on and then everybody else started doing it. And I kind of feel sorry for the guy now. But he, uh, he went in and just went, whip, wiped all those windmills out and gone again. So it was all right, but... I'm like, you want to screw with me? I'll screw right back with you. So there you go. <laughs> but anyways, it did happen. You know, it wasn't no harm, no fob, no nothing. But anywho, uh, let's get some paint. Uh, uh, black paint. Black paint. I think that's it. There we yeah. go. So uh, I'm going to get these uh, stirred up. I got my brush cleaned out from the other day. You still see a little bit of primer on it, but everything's good there. So... Should be good to go. It looks like it's sort of been used once, which it has, so... Oh, she'll still work, I'm sure. Uh, there it is. I need that. I need that, and uh, oh, there's my wrench I didn't wipe off, but it's all nice and, well, sort of re-blacked now, but... Looks like it's going to be fairly nice-looking paint, though. So, we'll do this one. I didn't get uh, Buddy there at the... Uh, at the uh, paint store there to uh, mix these for me, but I did the primer because the primer's got some more stuff in it, you know, that settles out a lot worse. Like solidy kind of stuff that really needs to be shaken. Oh, look at that, it's like blue. Now that will turn black, but I guess we'll just have to leave that up there. Uh, this stuff, yeah, it d does look you know, there's the color, and there's the color, so, um, actually, you know what, I think it was that other one that I, that I, sh um, whatchamacallit the other day, it's starting to mix up a bit there now, anyways, uh, I'll get her, I'll get her mixed up here, and, uh, yeah, it's coming better now, and, uh, it must be something to do with the glossy stuff in it, that's why it, that's why it's that color, I'm thinking, I also want to uh, punch my holes in that again, too, which actually, you know what, I think I did do that other one already. I can't remember now, but anyways, whatever. I'm going to use up both of these anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Uh, what the heck one did I use the other day now? I think it was actually this feller here. He's pretty sharp, right? So, yeah, okay. Well, I'll do that, get this mixed up, and then uh, 
find a tripod and uh, we'll go paint some black as much as we can. All right, well, I guess we're good to go. We'll do the insides and stuff here first. And of course, you know, I'll throw it in like a fasty time because that sort of seems more funnier than making you sit there and watch the whole entire thing at regular time it would really suck. So, but anyways, uh, we're good and mixed there. I can't uh, seem to get any more of that swirlies out of it. So uh, we're good to go. Anyways, here we go.
All right, well, I got the door open here a little bit. It's pretty cold, so I'm going to have to do this somewhat fairly quick. Uh, just want to do where the tractor's going to mount and stuff, so I don't have to worry about that later. And uh, then we can mount her up and then uh, paint the rest of her when uh, we can get her outside. Here we go. Well, that's it for that feller, another dead soldier. And uh, we'll have to take this up and give her a wash because I really like using that brush, it works really good. So, I guess the can's it's done too. So there we go, some high speed painting. And what I might do is uh, go up to the house there and uh, take camera and stuff. We'll do some high speed paintbrush uh, cleaning, cleaning, uh, which is, you know, kind of worrying, but you know, it's, be kind of neat to see how it is when you're fast timing at times whatever speed that is so uh <laughs> but um because normal uh, one to one time man it's slow and boring but doing her fast might be all right i don't know let's go uh let's go check her out so anyways we'll head her up to the house and i'll take the tripod with me so i got something to hold that and uh then i could just go ahead and start uh cleaning the brush Well, there we go, all good and clean, ready to rock again. So uh, everything cleaned up nice. It even uh, pretty much cleaned me up too. Maybe need a little more, but <laughs> most of me is pretty good. So uh, tomorrow, hopefully, it warms up enough that we can. Uh, let's check the weather. What is the weather network saying here? Because uh, I noticed as soon as I opened that door, started painting that painting that back spot, the paint got thick really fast, and <laughs> which means it was starting to freeze. Apparently, it's minus nine out, so yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. In the shade, be maybe a bit cooler. Thursday's supposed to only be two, but Friday's six, so that uh, might be a little better. It's supposed to rain too, though. Mm. That'll melt some snow, anyways. That'll be good. Uh, but anyways, yeah, maybe Friday we'll uh, finish the rest of that off. The underneath and then the rest of the back there. And uh, burn up the rest of, well, pretty much not all of that um, uh, last bit of paint there. The last can, but we'll burn up some of her, I'm sure. 
So, uh, yeah, but uh, that's, that's probably her for today. Uh, nothing else really happening. It's uh, pretty dead here today, if you know what I mean. And, uh, yeah, not much, uh, not much else happening. So I got to maybe show you one more little thing here I actually worked on yesterday for uh, my wife. She's in the uh, community... Uh, uh, brass band in town here. She plays trumpet and uh, sh they're having a dinner thing coming up uh, Thursday night. It's a pasta, pasta dinner and then they play and stuff and, and entertain the peoples and stuff so they, uh, they're they having a silent auction and uh, they needed uh, a sign made up for it so I'm like yeah I could probably do that so anyways actually a couple things I gotta show you here. Hang on a sec. So a little wee while back there when the uh, Spin Tires, if you've ever played the game Spin Tires, SpinTires.com. It's a free uh, demo sort of game right now. They're uh, in processes of making a uh, full version release kind of thing and it'll be uh, a full full game. And basically it's uh, playing in the mud with trucks and stuff. It's really cool actually. Uh, I was uh, one of the uh, backers, I guess you'd call me, for... Uh, helping them fund their little project there. I gave them a little bit of a donation there to uh, help them help them out with it and uh, they were looking for so much and then I think they actually exceeded what they what they wanted so which is good from donators and uh, they had different tiers of what you could donate and stuff. Why does this look like it zoomed in? Maybe not. Uh, they had different tiers for donors so uh, I can't remember which one it was that was called I pick now but basically I get a free copy of the game when it comes out and uh, they gave me this tire, oh, tire, <laughs> shirt that came yesterday. But uh, I've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for this shirt for, oh, must be four or five months now. It's been a long time. But anyways, uh, there's the shirt, just a black shirt with the uh, spin tires on it. So there they are, spintires.com. So it's pretty slick, pretty nice shirt. And uh, it's an XL, which should fit me. If not, holy cow. There's a little star on it too, I'm not too per sure what that means, but actually I don't think there's anything on the back now, but anyways, let's show you this uh, little sign I made here too for the for the band thing. Oh, there is something on the back too. No roads, oh, I like this. No roads, no. <laughs> I didn't even know that was on there. <laughs> Very good, that's pretty much sums it up right there, boys. Anyways, let's have a quick look at this uh, this banner here. Well, there it is, silent auction. So that's uh, three feet tall by about five wide. And uh, I put on, you know, a couple of musical instrumenty things and the, the bar thingies with the little starting fancy looking thingy. I know, uh, I need to know what they were called. Trouble clap, I think that is. Uh, don't ask me what any of these other ones are, I just don't remember that one. And then there's the one up here, and then this fella here, and then I know that's a trombone, and that's another treble clef because it's sort of nicer looking. And of course, drums, everybody knows that. And uh, another trumpet, and apparently that one there uh, I was told is a coronet. I don't know. Uh, I wasn't much into music, so I don't really know much about her. But uh, yeah, that's good. Uh, she'll hang that up on the wall there, and then she's got uh, quite a few donations for the uh, silent auction already, which is good. And that's uh, all proceeds going to their band and stuff for, you know, buying music. They have to buy new music every year, and that stuff's not cheap, let me tell you. Holy cow. Uh, yeah, so anyways, I'm kind of glad I'm not into that, but I uh, never did uh, do good with music stuff and, you know, holding the tone kind of thing, right? <laughs> Couldn't do that. So, but anyways. I do other things better, like welding stuff or whatever, you know. That's uh, my niche, but uh, some people are into the music and stuff, which uh, I'm not... Uh, too good the only thing I can play is the radio <laughs> that's about it <laughs> so but uh, I could probably maybe do the drums a bit I don't know to start bashing on stuff and maybe it would sound all right I don't know never really super tried you know they didn't offer too much of a sort of a musically program for us uh, in uh, public school I guess so I never sparked my interest for doing it any any further than that right so uh, I never really liked the singing too much either so uh, like listen to my voice you think that would be good singing no probably not so yeah, but uh, anyways, um, uh, yeah, I did this yesterday, so I let her lay out here for a couple of few days to get her well adhived, and then uh, she'll, be, she'll be good for tomorrow, probably all right now, but uh, this was fun, though. It took a little bit of time, but uh, she's definitely big. <laughs> I'm like, how big do you think you need this thing? Well, we got two six-foot tables. I'm like, well, holy cow, <laughs> this should be well big enough, but anyways, she's good to go, so... 
But uh, anyhow, uh, I guess that's it for today. I don't think there's anything else planned. I've been really wanting to uh, get onto my solar projects. I kind of had to stall there for a little while to get onto that again, but uh, the snow is just not leaving yet. And you know, I want to make sure all the snow's off the the roof out. Um, outside there before I start mounting stuff and you know screwing stuff into the roof and putting all the panels and joining them all together and then stuffing them into a stuffing all that into the the joiner thing and then putting her into a battery and then uh, hooking up some lights and stuff so um, that and uh, I guess you could do it both ways you could hook up 12 volt lights to a certain circuit and then uh, have a switch to that and if you needed be like you needed a, a you know, if you wanted to use your grinder or something or whatever down there, you could uh, run a inverter too off the same thing, and then have plugins for that too, and run a circuit and whatever off of that too. So we'll we'll get that going when when we can. But uh, for now, he's just on hold. That's all we can do. So, but um, and I think that orbit thingy I got for hooking all the panels into one, I think it'll actually take up to eight, which is good. So I think I've only got uh, one, two, three, four. Four. One's in the Jeep right now. And uh, one's back here, two's back here. So if you remember if you remember these things, the old panels, we'll get them all hooked up to uh, charge up some batteries. And I'm probably going to get a deep cycle battery too. So I heard they're good for doing solar stuff. And, and uh, probably best to go with one of them for... for uh, uh, they got thicker plates apparently in them or something which makes them better lower draw without you know much damage to the battery so um, Because well all those panels hooked together should charge that battery up again pretty darn quick I'm thinking unless I hook like four or twenty of them together which could do too, but probably wouldn't be doing that all at once I might get three three batteries maybe hook them all together and uh, you'd have a lot more capacity then and uh, yeah, so hopefully, uh, I don't think it would take those those panels very long to uh, charge that up because that battery in the Jeep was pretty well toast the other day, and uh, it, um, I don't even remember what day that was. It wasn't yesterday, was it the day before? Monday? I don't remember, honestly. Bad memory, you guys might remember, but I don't. <laughs> but anyways, it seemed like it was pretty well fully charged up again. I did a rock, so that, um... Probably not a huge capacity battery in that one, but uh, it uh, seemed to, one panel seemed to keep her charged up, so, you know. Um, now, I don't know how much draw I would have been able to keep taking out of that today, but, uh, geez, if you had eight panels on one battery like that, holy cow, that would be charged up probably in about 20 minutes. <laughs> it would be, uh, it would be dumping the power somewhere else, so. But, uh, yeah, anyways, enough uh, babbling uh, my gums today. We're uh, going to head her out, and uh, tomorrow or the next day will probably be the next day, I think the thing was saying, to uh, paint the rest of uh, the bucket up. And uh, we'll probably pop down tomorrow sometime, check her out, and make sure she's all drying up nice and stuff. And I slapped her on pretty thick, which, you know, kind of sort of have to do with that, because if you go too thin, then you start leaving lines and streaks and stuff, right? So slap her on thick and uh, hopefully she'll stay for a little while, but really it's not going to last too long. I don't think uh, it's going to get torn off pretty quick as soon as I hit that with the dirt. So, but anyways, it happens. But anyways, uh, have a good night. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll check you out uh, tomorrow or the next day. We'll talk to you and uh, finish up that bucket, hopefully. Have a good night. Thanks for watching.